joy to the world. Since the very beginning, when people chose to turn from God, the world has been a dark place. Things fall apart, people face pain, brokenness, and difficult times. God knew how desperately all of mankind needed hope, rescue. He knew that the world needed a reason to choose joy. So, God planned an incredible gift. Now you and I know that something like that can't be put inside a box, but maybe this will help us think about the story. I love to tell it again and again to every generation. He had whispered about it to prophets and poets over hundreds of years. But the very first person to discover that God's gift to the world was just about to be delivered was a girl named Mary. Mary was an ordinary teenager living in the ordinary town of Nazareth in the middle of nowhere special. And yet God chose her. He sent an angel with an incredible message. Mary, the Lord has blessed you in a special way. You will become pregnant and give birth to his son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just the way you said it would. God's son, this ordinary girl would become the mom of God's son. Joy, fear, and confusion hit her all at once. But she knew this was a gift from God. But God had promised that his son, the rescuer, would be born in Bethlehem, not Nazareth. A short time before the baby was going to be born, Mary and the man she was engaged to marry, Joseph, took a road trip. By the time Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, the baby was ready to be born. But the town was full. Everyone else had come home to Bethlehem too. They probably checked with every one of Joseph's relatives, but no one had any room to spare. Every space was taken. Hey, wait. Except, it turned out there was a spot. The only available space in Bethlehem was a room share with the animals. The king of all kings would be born in a barn. Not what you're expecting, right? It's not what anyone was expecting. It was so much more. God had already made it clear that his gift was not just for one or two people though. That night, he sent another message. There were shepherds in the fields outside of Bethlehem, watching their sheep all night. They were sleepy, maybe a little bored when, you guessed it, an angel showed up. Don't be afraid. I have good news that will bring great joy to everybody. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born. He's the Messiah, the Lord. You will know I'm telling the truth, but you'll find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Those shepherds jumped right up and ran straight to Bethlehem to see God's gift. And they weren't the only ones. God sent the news of his gift far and wide. He posted a notice high up in the sky. A lot of people saw that shining new star. 
But one group of wise scholars knew that it meant something very special. Through study of prophecy, they knew the star told of a brand new king. These scholars live far to the east, but they too set out on a long journey to Bethlehem, bringing gifts fit for a king. The gift that everyone was waiting for was delivered. God's gift to the world came in unexpected packaging. It came to an unexpected place. He brought together the most ragtag mix of people you could imagine. And over time, all of them stood in awe of God's amazing gift, Jesus, God's Son. Joy to the world! Merry Christmas and welcome to the Christmas service of Miami Valley Church. Our family wanted to take time to welcome you. And you can see our family, probably like many of yours, is celebrating Christmas differently this year. It is an unbelievably strange Christmas. But it's important for us to celebrate together as Miami Valley Church. And for our family, one of the traditions that we've always had is Christmas services at our church. And so we have great memories and uh, a lot of memories. And we're just going to share a couple of those with you as our service starts tonight. So uh, jump right in, girls. Okay, I'll go. Uh, I remember a handful of years uh, where we would either we were either serving or we'd been at church all day, uh, getting ready in preparation for Christmas Eve. And so, Chris, Annalise, and I had to get ready in the basement. And I uh, thankfully burned no one with the curling iron. So that was a good day. That is a good day. I think one of my favorite things is always passing out the candles as people arrive so they would have the candle to do with the like send off song with the candlelight service and sing a hymn. So that was probably one of my favorite parts. In that same vein, I remember a few years where mom pulled us outside to help light the luminaries. However, that doesn't prove to be too successful in an Ohio winter. So I just remember lots of running around and relighting multiple times. Lots of relighting. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. We have great memories of the family and even though we're not together this year, uh, Christmas service at Miami Valley Church will still be part of our tradition and over the years we've celebrated Christmas services in storefronts of a strip mall, we've celebrated in uh, hotel ballrooms, we've celebrated in an elementary school cafeteria, middle school gymnasium, and we have just made a point to say this is important because whatever else we're doing, the focus of Christmas has to be our Lord Jesus. And this year, as we celebrate Christmas as Miami Valley Church, even though we might be spread apart and not together in one location, Jesus is our focus. And this year, as we go through the service, we want you to remember more than anything else that Jesus came for the nations and his message is for the whole world to know and love him. And our responsibility is to do whatever we can to make Jesus known. So from our family tears, welcome to our church service. Merry Christmas.
As we continue to spend time together this Christmas, I want you to know this. People all over the world have been praying for you and those who are gathered with you around your screen watching this broadcast. We've been praying that you would sense God speaking to you. And I believe with all of my heart, God's already speaking and will continue to speak throughout this broadcast. And I think he's going to speak very specifically in a couple of ways. For some of you, he's going to invite you because Jesus came for the nations, but he came for you. The scriptures say, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. God is going to speak to some of you to say yes to Jesus as he's made known in your life tonight. Others of you, you're going to sense God speaking to you in a very special way. I think God's going to speak to some children, to some teenagers, uh, to some college students, maybe to someone that's about ready to retire, someone that's looking for a mid-career change. God's going to speak to you and he's going to say, I came for the nations and I want you to go to some other part of the world and make Jesus known. And if you're new to Miami Valley Church, that's just our church's heartbeat, that we would make Jesus known across this valley and all across the world. Some of you are going to go in obedience to what Jesus said. Before he would ascend into heaven, he would say this uh, to all of his disciples, all authority has been given to me in heaven on earth. Go, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And lo, uh, teaching them to obey all that I've commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. If you're a child, a teenager, college student, someone that hears God speak to you that he wants you to go, I'd invite you to reach out to us at Miami Valley Church. You can email us at start at miamivalley.org. Pastor Wolderger, I would love to have a conversation with you. But for some of us, we know that obedience to this challenge of Jesus to go to all of the world, to the nations, is to support brothers and sisters across the world like you'll hear from tonight financially so that the message of Jesus, so that Jesus can be made known all across the world. So if you'd like to give uh, this year to our Trust the Lord and Do Good Challenge, you can do that uh, by going to our website, miamivalley.org, off off of our church app, or you can send us a check at Post Office Box uh, 84, Miamisburg, Ohio, 45343. And I want you to know that 100% of everything you give will help people make Jesus known all across the world. And so God's gonna speak to you tonight and I just wanna invite you to be obedient. And some of us think, I wish God would just send me somewhere else. Maybe it'd be easier to make Jesus known across the world than it is in my own neighborhood. If you live here in the Miami Valley, we want you to know that in just two days, you're going to have an opportunity to help somebody come to know Jesus. You can make Jesus known by inviting them to a drive-in That's right, to the Dixie Drive-In here in the Miami Valley on Sunday night, uh, December 27th. And I want you to think about how God is speaking to you. And maybe it starts by inviting somebody to a drive-in, by giving financially, or just surrendering your life to the call to make Jesus known somewhere in the world. This holiday season will look much different than usual, but we still have hope. I am Caleb with Declare, and we are so excited to partner with Miami Valley Leadership Foundation to bring to you Hope for the Holidays, a Christmas and holiday drive-in experience at the Dixie Twin Drive-In. Hi, I'm Sarah Pelfrey with Miami Valley Leadership Foundation, and I am so excited for Hope for the Holidays. I cannot wait to see you at the Dixie Twin. It's going to be an awesome night, so come on out and grab a blanket and your kids and some hot chocolate and we'll see you there, and we're gonna have some pastors share the heart behind this event. John 17, 20 and 21 says this, I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us, so the world will believe you sent me. For Jesus to pray this is something special. It's the last thing he prayed. I can't find division in that prayer. So how do we model unity in his church? How do we break down these barriers that we've established that separate us? How do we remove the walls that divide us? Let us become more reliant on God and fix our eyes on Jesus. Putting our hope in him. Our desire being his desire. Wanting what he wants. We pray for the valley and people all over the world to know and experience Jesus Christ. It's going to take more than one pastor, one community, and one church. We must must all be one.
uh, it's has long been a tradition in our family that every Christmas before we open the gifts, uh, we read the Christmas story, the real reason for Christmas. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told, what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. ఒకటవ నుంచి పద్నాలుగు వచ్చిన వరకు చదువుకున్నాం ఆ దినములలో సర్వలోకమునకు ప్రజా సంఖ్య వ్రాయవలనని కైసరు ఆగుస్తు వలన ఆజ్ఞాయను ఇది కురేనియా సిరియా దేశంలకు అధిపతి అయినప్పుడు జరిగిన మొదటి ప్రజా సంఖ్య అందరూ ఆ సంఖ్యలో వ్రాయబట్టకు తమ తమ పట్టణంలోకి వెళ్ళిరి యూసేప్ దావీదు వంశంలోను గోత్రంలోను పుట్టినవాడు గనుక తనకు భార్యగా ప్రధానము చేయబడి గర్భవతి అయి ఉండిన మరియతో కూడా ఆ సంఖ్యలో వ్రాయుడ్బటుకు గల్లీయలోని నజరైత్ నుండి యోధయలోని బెత్తిలహేం అనబడిన దావీదు ఊరికి వెళ్ళను వారు అక్కడ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఆమె ప్రసవ దినములు నిండెను కనుక తన తొలుచులు కుమారుని కని పొత్తి గుడ్డలతో చుట్టి సత్రంలో వారికి స్థలము లేనందున ఆయనను పశువుల తొట్టిలో పరుండబెట్టెను ఆ దేశంలో కొందరు గొర్రెల కాపర్లు పొలంలో ఉండి రాత్రి వేళ తమ మందను కాచుకొనుచుండగా ప్రభు దూత వారి యొద్దకు వచ్చి నిలిచాను ప్రభు మహిమ వారి చుట్టూ ప్రకాశించినందున వారు మిక్కిలి భయపడేది అయితే ఆ దూత భయపడకుడి ఇదిగో ప్రజలందరికీ కలుగుబో మహా సంతోషకరమైన సువర్తమానము నేను మీకు తెలియజేయుచున్నాను దావిదు పట్టణమందు నేడు రక్షకుడు మీ కొరకు పుట్టి ఉన్నాడు ఈయన ప్రభు అయిన యేసుక్రీస్తు దానికి ఇదే మీ కానవాలు ఒక శిశువు పొత్తుగుడ్డలతో చుట్టబడి ఒక తొట్టిలో పడుకునే యూనిట మీరు చూచేదరని వారితో చెప్పాను వెంటనే పరలోక సైన్య సమూహంలో ఆ దోతతో కూడా నుండి సర్వోన్నతమైన స్థలములలో దేవునికి మహిమయు ఆయన కిష్టులైన మనుషులకు భూమి మీద సమాధానము కలుగునుగాకని దేవుని స్తోత్రము చేయుచునేను ती दिन में केशर अगस्टस ने तीन को सारा साम्राज्य में जनगणना लिन्नु भुकम जारी करे कुरेनियस सीरिया का हाकिम होता यह पेल पल्ट को जनगणना थी सब जना नाव दर्ता करा आपो शहर गए यसो पनी गलील को नासरत बाहुदिया को बेथलेहेम भाऊद को शहर में गए क्यों तिनी दाऊद का कुटुंब र वंश का थे ना दर्ता करा ती आपूसंग मगनी भेक मरियम लाथ में लीर गए मरियम गर्भवती थी तिनी भेक बेला मरियम को बालक जन्माने जन्मने बेला आयो तिनले आपने जेठो छोरो जन्माइन रहा लुगा ले बेरे डूट में राखिन् क्योंकि तिनी का निति पवा में ठाव थे गोठलाहरू र स्वर्गदूतहरू त्यही इलाकामा गोठलाहरू थिए जसले चौरमा बसेर राति आफ्नो बगालको रखवाली गर्थे प्रभुका एकजना दु स्वर्गदूत तिनी कहाँ देखा परे र प्रभुको तेज तिनीहरूका वरिपरि चम्कियो अनि तिनीहरू साह्रै डराए तब स्वर्गदूतले तिनीहरूलाई भने नडराओ 
किनभने हेर म तिमीहरूलाई बडो आनन्दको सुसमाचार सुनाउँछु जो सबै मानिसहरूका निम्ति हुनेछ आज दाउदको सहरमा तिनीहरूका निम्ति एक मुक्तिदाताको जन्म भएको छ जो ख्रिस्ट प्रभु हुनुहुन्छ तिनीहरूलाई चिन्नी चिन्ह चाहिँ यो हुन्छ तिमीहरूले एउटा बालकलाई लुगाले बेरेको र डुटमा सुताइरहेको भेट्टाउनेछौ तब एक्कासी ती स्वर्ग दूतसँग स्वर्गीय सेनाको एक दल देखा पऱ्यो परमेश्वरको स्तुति गर्दै तिनीहरूले भने सर्वोच्चमा परमेश्वरलाई महिमा र पृथ्वीमा जुन मानिससँग उहाँ प्रसन्न हुनुहुन्छ तिनीहरूलाई शान्ति आमेन Aconteció en aquellos días que se promulgó un edicto de parte de Augusto César que todo el mundo fuese empadronado. Este primer censo se hizo siendo Sirenio gobernador de Siria e iban todos para ser empadronados cada uno a su ciudad. Y José subió de Galilea de la ciudad de Nazaret a Judea a la ciudad de David que se llama Belén por cuanto era de la casa y de la familia de David. para ser empadronado con María, su mujer, desposada con él, la cual estaba encinta. Y aconteció que estando ellos allí, se cumplieron los días de su, del alumbramiento, y dio a luz a su primogénito y lo envolvió en pañales y lo acostó en un pesebre, porque no había lugar en aquellos para el mesón. Habían pastores en la región que velaban y guardaban las vigilias de la noche sobre su rebaño, He aquí se les presentó un ángel del Señor y la gloria del Señor los rodeó de resplandor y tuvieron gran temor. Pero el ángel les dijo, no temas, porque he aquí os doy nuevas de gran gozo que serán para todo el pueblo, que os ha nacido hoy en la ciudad de David, un Salvador que es Cristo. Esto os servirá en señal, hallaréis al niño envuelto en pañales y acostado en un parecebre. Y repentinamente apareció con el ángel una multitud de las huestes celestiales que alababan a Dios y decían, Gloria a Dios en las alturas y en la tierra paz, buena voluntad para con los hombres. Eduardo Gorsés, Siku Zile, Amri Litoka, Kwa Kaisari Agusto ya Komba, Yandiku ya Roda ya Majina, Ya Watu Watu Ulimwemu. Roda hii ndio ya kwanza ili yandiku wa hapo, Kireneo alipokuwa liwali wa Shamu watu wote wakaenda kuandika kila mtu majina kwao Yusufu naye aliondoka Galilaya toka mji wa Nazareti akampanda kwenda Uyahudi mpaka mji wa Daudi uitao Bethlehemu kwa kuwa yeye ni wa mbari na jamaa ya Daudi ili andikwe pamoja na Mariamu mkewe ambaye amemposa naye ana mimba ikawa katika kikaa kukaa huko Siku zake za kuzaa zikatimia akamzaa mwanawe kifungua mimba akamvika nguo za kitoto akamlaza katika hori ya kulia ngombe kwa sababu hakupata nafasi katika nyumba ya wageni na katika hichi ile ile walikuweka wachungaji wakikaa makondeni na kulinda, kulinda kundi lao kuazamu usiku malaika wa Bwana akawatokea ghafla utukufu wa Bwana akawangaria pande zote wakaingiwa na hofu kuu malaika kawaambia msiogope kwa kuwa mimi nawaletea habari njema ya furaha kuu itakayokuwa kwa watu wote maana leo katika mji wa Daudi amezaliwa kwa ajili yenu mwokozi ndio Kristo Bwana na hii ndiyo ishara kwenu mtakuta mtoto mchonga amevikwa nguo za kitoto amelala katika hori ya kulia ngombe mara walikuwapo pamoja na huyo malaika wingi wa jeshi la bingu la binguni wakimsifu Mungu na kusema atukuzwe Mungu juu binguni na duniani iwe amani kwa watu aliyo wa faridia जी 
My name is Marvin Brown. I um, I attend at Miami Valley uh, Church, and um, uh, I was painting, working on a picture today, and the Lord has uh, blessed me with, um, with a vision. And this particular picture, uh, as you can see, uh, the colors I've chosen uh, was blue, uh, blue being the uh, color of the Holy Spirit, as far as uh, power and might. Uh, mountains represent strength, and uh, Jesus' arms spread it wide open uh, re represents uh, salvation to all. Salvation is granted; it's a free gift of God. Uh, and as you can see, there's diverse of people inside the picture, uh, also. And you see the uh, see Jesus in the water, which represents uh, baptism, baptism, uh, which is one of the things that uh, uh, Jesus went through himself. And you see the Holy Spirit uh, on his shoulder as the dove; it's a symbolization of the Holy Spirit. So um, this picture was uh, very important because uh, during the painting of it, uh, God was just uh, giving me uh, uh, vivid images of how the picture should, should look. Uh, uh, prophetic pictures are usually uh, about the message and less about the perfection of the picture. So uh, uh, hopefully it'll be a blessing to all who sees the picture. Um, I believe it has blessed me to even do it uh, because while I was up here, God was pretty much uh, giving me the information while I was just uh, while working with my hands, uh, the same as he did in, in the, uh, with the apostles. So it's been truly a great honor to, uh, to do this uh, prophetic picture. Uh, hope you'd be blessed by it. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time to help us celebrate Jesus Christ and what he came to this world to do. If this is your first time joining us, I want to say a special welcome. As you just heard today, Jesus came for all the nations. Jesus came for you. If you've never asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior and to come into your life, it's as simple as saying this prayer with me. Before we do that, if you've never said yes to Jesus, would you simply text Jesus to the number below? It's as simple as praying this prayer. God, I believe that you created me. God, I acknowledge that I have done things in my life that would not be pleasing in your sight. I need help. Today, I invite Jesus into my heart because I believe that he came to this earth, died a death on a cross for my sins, and rose again on the third day because I could not. Today, I invite him into my heart. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It's as simple as praying that prayer, but I want to know, if you made that decision today, would you text Jesus to the number below? I want to come alongside you, pray with you, and help you in this journey we call life. I want to say thank you to all of you who made this possible. It is by your partnership that we are able to make Jesus known, not just right here in this valley, but all over the world, telling the nations about the good news of Jesus Christ. So from my family to yours, I love you. Merry Christmas. I want all of you to know that I, I love you all dearly and Merry Christmas. God bless you all. Thank you, Pastor Jed and Miami Church Valley. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Thank you for this opportunity. All right, well, Ryan got to play Santa last year, so I will go ahead and pass out the gifts. Ava, if you could please stop watching the TV. We're going to try to concentrate on giving gifts here. There you go. Thanks. All right, guys, rip into them. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much. I love it, I can't wait to use it. So <laughs> thank you. Oh, oh wow. a microphone, thanks. Nice. I'm guessing it was from you, Ryan. No, it was me, it was me. Hold it up, hold it up. Twinsies. Oh, nice wrapping job, whoever did this. What 
Is it? Ooh. It's empty. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Oh, there it is. Ah! Wow. Ah! Christmas awesome. color. Awesome. The Christmas red. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Ryan, that's a gift that keeps giving. Oh, yeah. For sure. And we all get to enjoy. I'll put this with my hundred other ones. All right. <laughs> Is it my turn to open? It's your turn, Brian. All right. Ooh, is it a bass? Is it a guitar? It like it. Yeah, it probably, it probably yeah, it looks a, a little small. Well, for that. Could be a saxophone. Does anybody want to save this paper? Yeah, save that, please. Okay. Oh my gosh. Two hours later. Oh, Woo! Yeah. Liking what I'm saying? That's not. What'd you get? What? Oh, actually, those were for me. Sorry about that. I think it did say Jet on the box. <laughs> my bad. Oh. Where's my gift? Worst Christmas ever! I want a Rolex anyway. What's a Rolex? <laughs> Guys, it's not about getting gifts this year. It's about spreading the light of the world. Yeah, but we can't even perform, like, on stage. See everybody in person. Worst Christmas ever! Well, we could always go caroling. Hey. Did somebody say something about caroling? No. Great yes, idea, yes. Ava! Caroling! Yes. Caroling! Yes. We're doing it! Yes.